Hello and welcome back. So, so we're doing event redstone on. Where do I want to put the redstone? I want to put it here on the west side. Okay. I could put that. I'm tempted to put it as full. I want to try and experiment with some of the stuff as well in this one. Let's get another program card. Okay, so I want to do fetch. Fetch, decode, execute. Okay. Okay, so we need to fetch items from the top chest and put it in the bottom chest, right? So let's see if we can do that. Okay, so... It's going to be the up chest, isn't it? Okay, we don't need to access it from any particular side. We want to take what's in the first slot. That's optional. Uh, we'll take four items. So that's optional. So this one's not optional. So we want to put this in uh, slot zero of the processor. Uh, okay. Mm, I will. I do want to get into the ruble stuff. Okay, so we'll take four items and put it in slot zero of the processor. Let's see. Uh, press shift to change name. Oh, I didn't see that before. Okay, so... Move items. Okay. So let's go... Uh, put move items in here. Set up set zero. So let's see if we can get four items in this one. What? Oh. I think it might have worked. Let me just uh, check it. There we go. So that's fine. Okay. Alright, so let's uh, put, them in, put them in the other one then. So that's, yeah, so... So the arrows... I, I'm trying to... The thing is, like when I read the word fetch, it just reminds me of when I remember like studying like RAM stuff and the fetch decode execute cycle. So I'm going to just look at it like that. I guess there's no, it's almost like fetch and then execute, there's no decode. I guess decode is actually the program itself. Push multiple items, push items to... Okay, that one looks interesting, but anyway. Okay, so we need to push. Uh, this is where it gets a bit more complicated. So we're pushing to. Oh no, it's not that. It's not really that different, is it? We're just pushing it down. Now uh, let's try it in just just for fun. We'll just try it in slot in the second slot there. And we'll push say two. And we'll pull from zero. Okay. So should put four in and then take two out. So we should be left with two in each. Let's try it. Uh, not yet. I keep on going. I don't know why. I keep on thinking this is the other one. All right. So we should have two in each interface. Two. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> I didn't think this one through, did I? How much stone have I got? Zero. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened. Um, that is not a good idea. <laughs> Hmm. The thing is, though, the reason I say this is because what I'd like to do um, I believe I can access all sides of this block. So I'm curious, I'm very curious, in fact, to see how I would get it to run in like this in this instance. Like if I have it like this and this. Okay, so we can keep that redstone signal as it is, but how am I, how do I get it to do exactly the same thing? So say we've got put another different item here, like diorite. And I want to I want to do the same operation and pull it from this front chest, which I guess is the south to the north. Um what it might be better actually, it would make more sense if I did it yeah. <laughs> rather than using top and down. That's the whole reason. The thing is, I was I was thinking, I don't want to have to keep on fucking opening the menu uh, to see the, uh, the direction, because I find it super annoying. Uh, but then, of course, I just, for some reason, I managed to completely forget about the whole, you know, you can't... Um, I just want to, I just want to clarify a couple of things in my mind here. Uh, the main thing being... Uh, So basically, we've got four. We've got four chests, and I want to. I want to just make sure that everything is working, uh, and, that, and that both uh, both of these things. Um, so yeah, where am I going to put? The, so I guess I have. To, I have no choice but to um, have the redstone signal. Oh, no, no, what am I talking about? Of course, I can just put it on top. Okay. So I'll just stick the redstone signal there, and then we'll do we'll transfer from say yeah let's just do transfer from north to south and then from west to east because I mean that makes more sense doesn't it in uh, north to south and west to east I like that I like that okay so let's look at this again then. Okay, and we have to make some adjustments here. So let's first of all check that I've got it set up correctly. So the, the redstone signal is coming, this time it's coming from up. And we're going to pull from the north to the south this time. Okay, so we need to pull from the north. And again, we're going to use slot zero. Again, we're going to do four. And again, we're going to put it in slot zero of the internal. And here, we're going to put it into the south. Yeah, and I wasn't actually able to see this before. Uh, and we're going to, yeah. Okay, so if we just check that. So let's have a look. So we should end up with... Uh, Oh, there, cause we've got nothing in there. So we'll start with the stone. So we should end up, and I actually put it in the correct slot as well. Okay, so that's all good. And it put it in the correct slot. That's fine. Now let's. Um... So here's the here's what I'm here's here's the whole point of this, right? Is that if I want to then move from the west to the east, how about how would I go on doing that? So would I just say, well, I'll just have another one here. I'll just put a redstone signal coming from above. And doesn't really this bit does it matter? I don't know. The thing about this bit is that if the program's not complicated enough for me to be really uh I guess if I did it multiple times, yeah, I would, what I'd have to do, wouldn't I? I would have to do it multiple times and then see, say I did it like four times very quickly, theoretically it should, the problem is I don't know the speed of the completion, I need to have a wait in there. I need to have a wait in there for it to really be able to really get any useful feedback on it. But anyway, so then we'll get the fetch. So this is coming from up, so we're going to fetch 
again we're going to uh, fetch from uh, so this time we're, f we're fetching from the west and again we're going to fetch from slot 0 and uh, we'll take 10 this time maybe and we're going to put this in slot 1 of the processor then with regards to the push items so here's the thing right uh, so yeah we want, we want to push this into the east and again we'll use slot 1 uh, we said 10 didn't we so we'll say 5 just just I don't know why uh, the input slot of the internal is 1 Okay, so that should all be correct, right? Did I say 10 in this one? Okay, so we'll save that. So how, how is this going to run? That's what I'm curious about. Do I need to do it like this, or should I have a separate program card and put that in? That's what I'm just a little bit uh, wondering about. Okay, so... We'll put this card in here. So what I want to do then is... Let's just get two different materials that we're going to move. So this one's going to be 10. 10 go in here, 5 come out. Right? This one's going to be... I'll do a stone here. It's a very similar sort of thing. So let's have a look, see what happens. Uh, the final thing I want to do is just set up that. And so is that enough? That's what I'm wondering. So 10 were pulled out of there, 5 were put in there, 4 were pulled out of there, Wait, let me just, uh, just, I just want to make sure I've got this, so die right 1 stack, there empty, and then the stone 1 stack, okay? And we'll remove these. Well, should those numbers do look correct? All right. So let's do it again. 64, two go in here, two come out. 64, 10 come in here, five come. Uh, sorry. 64, four go in here, two come out, two remain. 64, 10 go in here, five come out, five remain. But I think it's worth it. Though. So 10 came out, five remain. Four came out and two remain. Did I do exactly the same thing? Yeah. Wait, ten came out, five remain, four came out, two remain. Okay. Hmm. All right, so what that means is you don't need... Hmm. I don't really get why that works, to be honest. I would have thought it might not. I mean, it seems to be alright, though. Anyway, uh, I just do wonder about the uh, CPU stuff. One operation per tick. What it, what it means, then, is it means that it's just running down the line. Like, if I, look, if I did a... I think if you did a wait or something... If I did a wait here, maybe... Well, let me just tr let me just this last thing I'm gonna well yeah I'll try it just do a wait where is the wait one gone uh, I think wait is this one one of the hourglasses yeah so let me just try the hourglass thing. I'm happy with that now so if I if I put an hourglass here. Uh, not you, the other hourglass. Because I'm pretty sure it's just doing it in a line. It's just like going zoop, 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 zoop down the line, right?
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's all I wanted to check. I just I thought it was like that. So that's cool. So it's important to look at it like that. But anyway, that's enough for now. Uh, thanks for watching.